Well, good morning, Legacy Academy teachers. I'm hoping that Monday finds you well. We're going to, uh, uh, I'm going to show you uh, something called Google Groups. And forums are all the rage on the internet. Um, there's web forums for just about everything that you can think of. And it's a way we get a lot of our good information these days. And I'm going to show you how to create a forum on your website. And this is something a lot of people don't know that you can do, but it's actually using Google Groups. So there's a separate uh, Google app, essentially that allows you to create a forum and then the forum can be inserted into your website so if you have a classroom website but you'd like to have a forum where students discuss topics um, it's a great way to practice writing skills and to work on reading and to let the students give collaborative feedback with one another um, in fact I like it better than blogging just because of that you can you know you can really get the interactive discussions kind of going on electronically and um, for those middle school students they might do this at home even they might get on there and actually have these discussions back and forth and it's something that that you can control in your classroom you can moderate it and you can also make sure that every post you know exactly who it's coming from because they need to be logged into the site in order to post so something you have complete control over complete privacy over um, as with all of Google's applications if you don't want anybody to be able to see it except for your students you have that option or you can make it public to the entire world so really depends on how you want to set it up so I'm gonna go ahead and kind of just walk you through a couple steps so I have my my dummy website that I use a lot of times for um, practicing some of this stuff, and um, you can see here I have a blog set up which is really neat. I've got files, links, a few things like that. But what I want to do is I want to go to Google Groups, and uh, to get there you just go to groups.google.com. So groups.google.com, and when you get there, you're going to be at a home page that says, you know, welcome to Google Groups. This is my groups. Would you like to browse other groups? Because there are there are forums out there um, with valuable information that are are actually part of other um, groups, not the one that you build. So you can actually insert those into your website, which is kind of unusual. Or there's a chance to create a new group. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to click on new group. And this is where I get to uh, give it a group name and a group email address. And um, the group email address is essentially a way to identify and, and mark this group as um, it's kind of its own little setup. So if somebody emails, they actually email that email address and then it goes out to every name associated with that group. And you can see the email address is at googlegroups.com. You can actually even post from email, which is kind of interesting. So I'm gonna create this. This is just um, Mr. Crosses test group, and um, I'm going to give the email address a little bit less uh, clutter here. So I'm going to get rid of the punctuation because that kind of makes it awkward. And then a group discussion. I'm just going to say this is a test group setup. And the group type. So here's where you can do a lot of different things with Google Groups. You can create an email list. You can do a web forum, or you can do a question and answer forum. In uh, our case, we're going to do a web forum, but an email list, essentially, you would associate a mess of emails, a group of emails, with that group email address that you just created. So if you sent out an email to that group email address, it would go out to everybody. Asher does that for you actually here in the building with our account already, so um, you may not need to do it in that fashion. So we're going to do web forum for this uh, tutorial. And then select a group of users. So this is where, um, when we're, these are the basic permissions for the website. So if we're viewing the forums, what you're saying is that anyone can view the forums. If I unclick this, that means only members of the group can view the forum. So this would give it that extra layer of security instead of saying that everybody can see it, only members of the group. If I unclick that, now only managers of the group, so only those that are given um, some sort of authority over editing or changing or deleting posts would be able to edit. Most of the time, you're going to want to do all members of the group as a uh, good um, topic viewing ability. Now posts. So again, members of the group probably you want them to be able to post. If this was just an informational forum, you might unclick this so that only the managers can post information here and then the students would be able to see it. So in this case we're going to do it. And then who can join? Anyone or invited users or anyone can ask. So you can say, um, you can make it to where people, if they ask for permission, they can actually get on. Um, 
most of the time I think you're going to choose invited users because that's going to be um, groups that you create a, uh, for um, your classroom. So you'll invite those uh, groups to be there. And then you're going to hit create group. And it's going to give you this little fancy code here that you're going to need to um, click on so they verify that when you're creating this group you're not crazy. All right. So now when I go back, so this has got, you can see here, Mr. Cross's test group, and it's gonna give you like, here's what you can do in your in your group. I'm gonna go to my groups, and when I do, you're gonna see I have two groups. So I have a teacher discussion group. This is a group that's actually created on the legacy uh, teacher website, on the Monday Momentum website. And you can go on there and actually post in that already. Um, the test group is right here, so we're gonna click on that. and. For this, we're gonna. This is where we got to get the rest of the setup kind of done. So, um, this is since I'm a member of the group and I just joined the group. It's asking me for. Uh, I can I can put a picture of myself on there. I could give myself a nickname. I'm gonna give myself the nickname of Mr. Cross, and then I'm gonna go ahead and save my changes. And now this is kind of what the forum looks like. And now it hasn't fully been set up yet, so there's not. That much to it it's not very exciting right um, but I could actually post new topics so I could just have a group and then I could actually go in here and you'll see it's very much like a web forum in the sense I put a subject it's kind of like an email you put in some content and then you hit post and when you post it's going to add that post to the forum um, most people have used a forum so I think most people probably have that kind of figured out however if I want categories this is where you're going to go to manage and this is a lot of the settings. This is where you can um, change your members and your access and the, the level that they have access to it. But one of them is categories. And if you enable categories, this will allow you to create um, sections of categories and you can get real elaborate. So you can do category groups where you have maybe, um, you know, maybe it's on, um, you would do something on the universe as a category group. And inside that, un the category, the universe, you would put in a new category of our solar system, the planets. Um, you know, you can get more specific. I like to do it at the category level, so I'm just going to add a category, um, not as deep as a category group, but just a category. And I'm going to call this, um, I, I think I will use that example. I'm going to call this the universe. And these are going to be, and then right below it is a description of what you're doing. So I'm going to say this is a I'm having trouble typing here. Misspelled the. Okay, so this is a description of the universe, and I'm going to hit that add category. Now, when I go and I save this, and we go back to our forum, you'll see that in my test discussion, I have the category the universe. And if I click on the universe, now any topics that I add here, we're gonna just do this one, we're gonna call it the solar system. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit post. And you'll see that now I made a post inside of the universe category. So if I go back up to my main category, you'll see that the universe shows up. When I click on that, um, I will get a topic in there and when I click on the topic you'll see all of the replies to that topic. So I've essentially created a, a uh, forum for use on the website. All right. So one of the things you're going to want to do is you're going to want to import this forum into your website. So when you're on your web page you're going to uh, create a new page and I'm going to call this new page a forum and it is a just a flat web page. I don't want any other uh, fancy features under there. And I'm going to go ahead and put it under the top level and I'm going to hit create. And now I've got this beautiful empty page. And now I can go to insert and I can go to more gadgets. Type in groups. Oh, I'm sorry, actually we don't go into there. 
we hit cancel, sorry, we go to insert and it's actually already set up as a as a Google item. So we just say group. And now it's gonna say add a gadget to your page. The Google group URL is what's required. So if I go back here, I can actually get the Google group URL right there in the top and I'm just gonna copy that. And I'm gonna paste it in there. And then this is where you set the width of it. So how this is how it's going to look within the constraints of your web page. So I want it to be a 100% of the width and 600 pixels high. That all looks great. Um, and then I'm going to say OK or preview gadget. I'm just going to say OK. And then before I save it, it just looks like a little box. Now when I save it, I will have a group inserted. And there it is right there. There's my uh, Mr. Cross test group. And I have the universe set up right there and now I can just add new topics and uh, new categories um, I can I can go back into my uh, groups.google.com and I can add new categories in here so we can go through and just um, kinda customize this forum to be anything we want now in the end um, it's going to look I'm gonna show you the other uh, group that I used for the teacher group in the end it's going to look like this where you're going to have um, maybe a bunch of different categories set up and then what you want is you want people to actually make posts on here so here's a Google applications training materials post and this gives a couple good links for for material that it, um, people could go to to learn how to use Google Docs so if you wanted to add a reply to this you'd be able to post a reply or if you wanted to add a new topic where it's maybe something you knew something about and you've created a video you would throw that up in the training videos and other people would be able to view it um, in the next little video clip that I do about this I will show you how to kind of manage the users within this that is the next part of this uh, little activity is to be able to make sure that we have all of the users uh, set up so that you can uh, manage your groups well um, one of the nice things about this is when you when you add users to a Google group when you send a post to this uh, forum an email goes out to every member of that group so that everybody can see oh wow uh, somebody's been commenting on the forum and then they can go into that forum and they can actually read and look at uh, what they posted one of the benefits of doing this sort of activity in your classroom is you will get uh, it's great warm-up activity so if you have something maybe a, a quick little video clip to catch their attention or you have a reading that they needed to do or maybe there's just a daily assignment that they need to do and you have them and train them to that they need to go into this forum and make a post they really get accustomed to how forums are used and how that's um, kind of manipulated and forums are a big part of what we do uh, everywhere we go so um, you'll find that companies use this um, you know schools uh, organizations pretty much the rest of your their, their lives they're gonna in some fashion be posting or making some information on a forum maybe you are just gonna use it for a book review maybe uh, you'll use it for a book report maybe um, you want people to discuss a book that they read this is a great place to do it and I've seen it done with very young kids and I've seen it done with um, great success in the older grades as well so I hope this helps a little bit and watch for the next part of this where we talk about users and permissions